War is afoot. Good morning. It's nice to meet you guys. And Hello. You. It was a real pleasure to watch that first episode twice, if I have to Ah, remember. nice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Matt, my first question will be to you. Mm. I've heard from some of your colleagues that playing a vicious person is actually very cool and fun sometimes. And uh, I have the feeling that um, Damon is going to be the main, can we call him a villain? I don't know. You tell me a little bit more about him. Um, I don't know if it's that black and white that he's just a villain really. I think, I think it's a very interesting question, but no, I think, I think ultimately it's slightly more complicated than that because it depends I sort of side, I mean, you must get that pattern. Even when you're playing characters who are on the other side of things, you can't help but sort of be on their side a bit. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I you, mean. Because you, you back them, don't you? Yeah, I played some really awful characters in my past. <laughs> I think there was only one that I, I, I thought was completely and utterly irredeemable. Who? Um, a, a priest I played in Peaky Blinders, yeah. but I just really enjoyed playing him. Yeah. But it, there was no sort of qualities in my mind about him that I could find some sort of part of his character that was broken. He was just an awful, awful creation. Yeah. You, you don't get to do that in real life, so you know it can be really fun. I'm guessing. What playing a villain? Yeah, being a villain. <laughs> well, you don't get to do that in real life. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> That I know. I <laughs> can do this. Yeah. <laughs> I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. War is a foot. Well, Patty, tell me a little bit more then about your character because he seems to be very real in the human feelings that he has. I believe that he loves his wife and his yeah. dog, and it's very, um, let's say, rare. Most of the other characters have hidden agendas. Yeah, he's he's the only one that doesn't. He, 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 his actual um, agenda is a secret agenda, really, and it's a more mythical agenda that he has, not not really a political one. Um, but yeah, he's it's very easy to perceive him as just a good man, but he does have very very human qualities in him, um, and that's it is rare in those sort of characters within that world, and that's what I loved about him as well that he wasn't someone that was fighting for his place on the throne. He wasn't pulling strings. He was just trying to do the right thing, and um, I think the perception is that he's some sort of a, of, of a weak man, but he's a, he's a he's a man who I think tragic events happen to him and they devastate him, and that has you know affects the rest of his of his life really. I think if anything Viserys wasn't really suitable to be a king because he was too emotional really. Yeah. Um, but I thought that was important to not make him a bit of a caricature and you know to put some sort of real uh, I don't know so just a little bit of reality in there you know. How did you work on your um, brother relationship <laughs> Matt? <laughs> well <laughs> I suppose it's only looking back with the benefit of hindsight. We didn't we didn't do anything sort of massively proactive about it. We let it emerge between us as actors and as people, really, and it, and yeah. it sort of emerged quite naturally, didn't it? Yeah, you can discuss too much. Mm. Sometimes things are just there inherently. Mm. Uh, things happen, you know. If there's a, if, if there's respect for your fellow actors to begin with, you know, if there's a mutual respect there. There's a sort of like license to go into the playground and, and work on things, you know. And luckily, we were we were on the same page with how we go about doing our work. Mm. Um, so the the relationship, we're both very instinctive actors. Uh, I knew Viserys, and Matt knew Damon, and um, it was all very instinctive and all very natural. I thought. Yeah, I agree. How did you feel having blonde long hairs when you looked at yourself in the mirror? Great. Fabulous. Great, <laughs> great. Come you definitely look fabulous. <laughs> I loved it. My hair was like correct. A... Yeah. Yeah, it was great. It felt good. It looks great, so thank I, you I very was, much. I was afraid I would look, I probably do look, look ridiculous to some people, but I was scared I'd look silly. Because I do look, it, with, with wigs and that, I just have a ridiculous, almost um, Will Ferrell-esque sort of, uh, you know, reaction when people put... <laughs> wigs and things on me but luckily it was all right you know i got away with it and 
yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not the only one there with the wig, so I guess that helps as well. Spread <laughs> <laughs> the numbers. That's right, yeah. Definitely. It was the wig show. Thank you very much, guys. I can't wait to, to see more of the show. Really. Thank you. So yeah, have, have a nice afternoon. Thank you, you too. Bye-bye. I am to inherit the Iron Throne. She will block my way. Our hearts remain as one. Oh, our hearts were never one. Have you never imagined yourself on the Iron Throne? Where is duty? Where is sacrifice?